Hey, people, what's up? It's Jamil. Like, one of the best things in the gang stalking program is, honestly, I, I swear to you, man, I'm so excited about this, is women, right? Like, the gang stalking program threw a lot of women at me, and now it's just like, I just love women now, man. Like, before, for years, I didn't care about women. Now I'm just all about women now. And, like, I noticed something. Women don't, women don't have, like, there's no real guys around anymore. I, I don't mean that to be disrespectful. Like, I don't, I don't mean it like that, like, all the guys that are out there, like, they're all good. You know, they all deserve, like, a good woman and stuff like that. But, like, what guys used to, like, how men used to be, like, 500 years ago or, or 400 years ago or 300 years ago, it's, like, women don't women don't know about, women, women haven't had that. You know, I'm not trying to sound like some sort of, like, uh, you know, person trying to suppress women and stuff like that, but... Women want somebody who, who, you know, their balls are going to hang, basically, right? Like, they're going to come off rough. And I've been noticing that deeply, man. Like, the gang stalking program just made me so rough out here, man. Like, I talk to women, like, like these girls, like, especially the younger girls, man. Like, they, like, most of them grow up and they don't have, like, any type of, like, father figure in their life. They don't have any, like, they don't, you know what I mean? If you just come, you just come at them, you know what I mean? Like, I got, I got girls right now. I got one girl, man, she's, man, she is so, god damn, if you saw her, if you saw her body, you wouldn't even believe she was 18, she, all she does is, is walk around calling me daddy now, and like, that, that's all, she, that's all she does, I got her, I got her walking around calling me daddy now, and like, she is just fucking mind-blowing, like, you can hear in her voice how she's just like, in a day, she's like in a dream world, she can't believe it's true, no, no other, guys aren't out there, guys aren't out there putting it on women like that. Like, you know, the gang stalking program has built up my relationship with women. Like, all these girls I'm talking to, like, I got, an I, got another I got another one right now I'm talking to who's 18. Then I got another one after that I'm talking to who's 18 that I'm talking to right now. You know? Then I got, hold up. Then I got other, then I got other girls, then I got other girls, I got older girls, I got, I got, young, I got, I got all different types of females that I'm talking to. And I got one. I'm, I got one. I'm supposed to hook up with at the same day. I'm supposed to hook up with the other one. So I don't even know what to do. Like I'm, I'm just gonna bring them both together. To be honest with you, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, listen, 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 listen. You know, you, you already know what it is. Let's, let's go ahead, go ahead and get it cracking. Pull, pull out the little, pull out the little camera. You know what I mean? T drop, drop, drop the drawers. Drop, drop the pants, put the ass in the air. We're putting this on camera. Jamil Raw is the only person who to ever beat gang stalking. God damn it, you're gonna see me out. Hey, you're gonna see me out there on Porto Flex. Tell me I beat gang stalking. God damn it. No, I'm just joking. I'm just messing with you. But that's the blessing to the gang stalking program, man. It's so damn cool. I got a fantasy. I want a mother and a daughter. The gang stalking program uses teams like mother and daughters. You know what I mean? I, I want to see a mother have a fucking fine ass daughter. And just run through both of them. That's what the program did for me. You know? But, uh, man, it's been going down, man. I got more interviews coming out and stuff. I got more groups I'm speaking for. And just, like, everything in my life has changed, man. It's like, that's that's what I'm doing. Helping people, grinding through the gang stocking program. Laying out a foundation worldwide. And just going after ass. You know what I mean? That, that's that's what it stands for. That's what that's what each cheek on the female stands for. One cheek for Jamil Ross beat gang stalking, and, and one for me getting in that ass. Just, bah, 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 bah. That that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing out here now. You know, just laying it down worldwide. And so for people who are going through gang stalking, it can be a marvelous experience. I mean, for me it is. It's going down this summer. And I hope this to be the last summer here. I hope after this, I'm gonna I'm gonna be out there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up. I'm gonna find some of these chicks got some of these chicks got bread, man. They got houses and cars and shit like that. Once they see once they see what type of person I am, and they see I'm speaking to human rights groups, and they see like I got people who call my phone, dog, at three in the morning, talking about they're losing their fucking mind, and they need somebody to talk to. I got people who are contemplating suicide who call my phone. I got people going through. This phone is fucking crazy. I'm like a magnet now for just crazy wild stuff. People, people be calling my phone like, bitch, ah, the feds are chasing me right now. Bitch, help me. Ah, bitch, help me. The feds are after me. Ah, Jamil, what do I do? Bitch, ah. I'm like, man, just chill the fuck out. You know, go sit down somewhere and meditate and take a few deep breaths and just start waving at them. Just start waving at them. You know what I mean? That's what I do. People be calling me, tripping up. Ah, they got a helicopter on that mile. The daughter trying to kill me. Ah. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I need. I'm going to have one of these fucking females. I'm going to have one of these females.
have one of these females drive drive me to the location, have them get out like some, some glasses and notebook, and have them write all this stuff down, and I'm just gonna show up and start tell I'm gonna show up and start. Matter of fact, I'm gonna have me a couple females. Man, they've been having these fucking gang stock probably have these blondes, man, they're so fine. <clears throat> dog, they had one of them. Dog, I was I was outside fucking hitting the jump rope the other day. They had one chick. I don't know who the fuck she was. She had some big ass Tom Cruise top gun glass, uh, top gun uh, uh, glasses on and shit from you know that movie Top Gun with Tom Cruise and big ass Air Force One glasses. And she was she was in a red truck and she, she saw me hitting the jump rope. She just went to smiling. I'm like, God damn. They had another one on the corner that looked like that looked like an Olympic gold medal runner. They had they had some blondes out here that I mean they had like twenty different twenty different types of blonde females I've seen man they've been using I'm just like damn I mean you know I'm into all of them man I don't care they don't have they don't have to necessarily have a fat ass they can be skinny if they want to you know I, I mean we do it all so you know it is what it is and so I'm just laying it down internationally now now I'm talking to people all over the world about gang stalking Jamil Rawls is the only person who wanted to beat gang stalking. And I just want to tell people, for the record, man, the only way I was able to achieve my success is because I was, I was, I'm not afraid to be myself. I got out there and talked about crazy stuff, strange stuff, and I kept at it. Even after a life and death thing, I just kept at it and kept laying it down. You know what I mean? And, and now we're laying it down. And, you know, I just want to thank the people. Honestly, dog, no, I... I'm 30 years old. I've been going through this. I just want to thank the people out there in the secret societies and stuff and even thank the Freemasons for whatever the fuck happened to me. And, you know, I'm glad I'm still alive. I'm glad I'm out here helping people and stuff. And, you know, there's, there's one guy out there in Hollywood that was pretty damn powerful that I met. You know, he, he you know, he, uh, he helped me a lot, you know. Indirectly, we had met each other. And then I know... I know he must be, uh, I know he was pretty pissed at me about a lot of stuff. Extremely powerful man in Hollywood. You know, the world doesn't know who he is, but I'm lucky I got a chance to meet him. And, um, you know, I just gotta thank him, I just gotta thank him for that, for being a part of my success. No, you know, no night, no naivety, you know, not, you know, I'm not being sarcastic, I'm serious about that, you know. Uh, you know, so, the time ever comes, you ever need my assistance, or whatever, just let me know. And the gang stalking thing. And uh, hold on, we gotta. Hold on. Hey, hey, what's up? Hey, I'm recording right now. Can I talk to you while I'm recording? Or are you want me to hang up and call? You want to talk to me while you're recording? Yeah, I was in the middle of a video and you called, and so like, can I have a special guest appearance from you? No matter what. Aww. Hey. Okay. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. So. Yeah, man. Steve, hey, Steve. Steve. Steve's out there. Steve's out there packing right now. Talking about he's moving, and he called. He he called, He waited like two, three hours to call me back, and then he was blowing my phone up. And by that time, you know, I was already in the bed. I was like knocked out. I had. I was waiting to hear back from him, and I never heard back from him. And so, I was just like, I was gonna call you or text you, but I just kept waiting to see if he was gonna say something. He didn't say anything, and you know, my 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 mother ended up coming home. I ended up talking to her. And then I had talked to her for so long, I just went, by the time I got back in bed, it was late as fuck. And so I just, you know, went to sleep, but. So you're on video right now? What are you, are you am I on speakerphone? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just had to have your consent first. You know, I don't, I don't, be, I don't, I don't record people without their explicit so what, permission. What you, what's your topic today? <laughs> oh, I, you know, I'm just glad you called. You're, you're, you're a uh, attractive female. I was just saying the gang stalking program brought out the dog in me. With the female, right, right. <laughs> I'm serious. Hey, I'm I'm serious. Like, I got females I'm talking to that are 18. I got this girl. She's 18. I got her. I got her walking around calling me daddy now. Okay. And I'm like, to me, a lot of the guys I see, the gang stalker program brought out uh, something more in me to be able to let to you know because I always had I always had you know game. But the gang stalking program, I had hid it away for years when I was doing my conspiracy research, and the, the gang stalking program had re reemerged. You know, some of that game I had within me, and then it just became stronger. Um, can we do an interview a little bit on, um, like, when I call you back or something? Because I'm ordering food. 
Ha, you don't want to speak on that, huh? You don't want to speak on that. Uh. No, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't remember what we were talking about. About female girls or what? No. No, I was, me and Steve were talking about me. Okay, me and Steve were talking about how they use females against us, like in the program. Yeah, yeah. And and I I was saying that it improved me. It made me talk to females more. Like, it was supposed to go against me, but it ended up improving me. Because yeah. co conversation, conversation brings stimulation. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, you know what I mean? So, that, that's... How, how, yeah, how, I, I, how, I totally agree. I agree on the fact that they use, they use anybody that, you know what I mean? That, like, so pretty much, they use on me, they didn't use, obviously, you know, they didn't use a female, but they use, you know, my weakness, which is like a guy that is like crying out for help, or a guy that's, you know, having a hard time in his life, and, you know, and he's just like, you know, calling out for help type of, type of situation, and that's what got me, you know what I mean? You're, you're different, yeah, so he's a really pretty young, and they like, they do young, and you know what I mean? They got out, they leave, some, some days that you cannot resist. How do how do guys cut into you? They be like, "Hey, baby, what's up? What's your name?" They like. No, they don't do that to me because I don't. I don't really go out. I don't really. I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm. I have. I do my own thing. I don't really go out. You know, I don't really have a life right now. So. Uh huh. So um. You got a life. You had the golden goose situation. You were telling me about. <laughs> I I even tried to cut into you a little bit. I was talking about you know like like how you look and like your body and stuff. You were like if you were like if we were on a social media thing, I would take that I would take that as an insult. You were like I know you you were like I know you're silly, so you don't mean it like that. I know you're what. You remember I was saying like I was silly. And comical, so, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. you you didn't you didn't take it wrong. I was like, I was like trying to holler at you a little bit too myself. Uh. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Hey, but Monday, yeah. are you gonna do Monday? Will, Monday when I do that conference, like that conference thing, are you gonna like? Yeah, are you we're, we're doing it on Monday. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to introduce you and stuff and, and get you on there. You know what I mean? I'll be like, oh, wait a minute, I got a friend who's on standby right now. Um, you know, we'll, I'll be able to three-way with her. It's okay if she comes on, she can tell her experience. And then you can mm -hmm. you can shed some light on your experience and tell people. Because you had it pretty rough. Yeah. You had it rougher than me. Hi. Okay.